Hey guys, welcome to a new movie. I'm gonna show you that owning a sailboat isn't going to get you bankrupt. And there's a lot of maintenance on outboard engines that you can do yourself. So have a look at this movie. We're gonna do the spark plugs. We're gonna change the spark plugs. I've got some new ones here. And I'm gonna take you with to, uh, to show you around how it works, how easy it actually is. And uh, you can order these parts yourself for a few bucks and it's worth it to do it yourself. So uh, to start with, I'm gonna run around and this is the tool we're gonna use. I use this special tool because one of the two spark plugs is in a really awkward, difficult position. And yeah, from there. So we start with taking off the hood <laughs> and I'm gonna mount, put this back. There we go. Well, here is the carburetor, pull starter, oil dipstick, the filler part of the uh, engine oil. So you can turn it open, take it off, I mean, and see the big hole where the oil goes in. And the spark plugs are on this side. Normally, here will be the starter motor but this one is with pull start. So um, I could actually build the starter motor in because everything is there. There's a bracket and you only need to connect the wires and then you could lead the wires to the starting button. We start with taking off these two because the spark plugs are directly under them and as i told you we're going to use this tool there's a rubber inside this tool uh, that keeps the small end inside so it it locks or it, it tightens the whole spark plug and that's actually very useful because you've got some awkward position here you can fit a normal wrench on here with the uh, correct size but you wouldn't make it possible to go down there um, so you just put it on, turn it a few times and then you take it by hand and this is actually everything. As you can see, they are quite dark, this is nothing special. If you see a super white color on top or even a really black dark color, then uh, it's indicating that there is an issue. But for now, they're actually very fine. So in comparison to the new ones, of course this one looks better, but yeah, this has been in for two years, I think. And uh, last year it didn't uh, had any maintenance, so uh, it's time. Uh, now I am the owner of the, uh, the, the new sailboat and this engine. I'm gonna do this stuff every year. And it is this easy, you just go, back screw it in and make sure you have a few turns put on your special tool again and that's the one well the second one we're gonna put it in make sure it grabs make a turn to turn it loose and there you go two turns is enough go down with your finger and the second one is off. There we go. Nope. Oh, almost. <laughs> there you go. Second one. So we got them both here. Showing normal behavior. Nothing special. Nothing cra crazy. This is it. So we got the new one. They come in a box. Small. With always a piece of cardboard and you screw them again, you screw them in in order to don't uh, cross the pattern of the inside of the, 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 the hole because if you make a mistake there it's gonna be very expensive to repair. There are some options to repair but you actually don't want to force this because yeah what I said it's gonna be very expensive. 
Double check, tight. Don't over tight spark plugs because that's gonna cause you issues in the future. Well, this one was at the bottom. This one was at the top. And actually, that was it. So, guys, this was changing the spark plugs on this 8 HP engine, outboard engine, four stroke. And yeah, actually, this is a super easy job. You can do yourself. And this is it, changing your spark plugs. And remember, owning a sailboat doesn't get you bankrupt. Ciao.